All right, y'all. So we're going on a strike. Are you guys ready? Are you guys going to be with us? So T.I. caught it. We're going on a strike. Gucci done lost their mind. So let me play what um, Gucci got going on. But before I put the videos up and I got the videos of T.I. going off on Gucci with uh, Tamika Mallory. Girl, it is a mess. Um, even Soldier Boy, he gave up Gucci for Fendi now. But make sure you guys comment, like, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Gossip Girl, XOXO. You know you love me. All right, so let's get on to this tea, okay? Bam, so this is the picture everybody is talking about. This Gucci latest edition of sweaters. Um, as you guys can see, it's a black sweater and people can pull it up, I guess, for the cold with red lips. And, um, people are saying it's blackface and the red lips, big lips, um, is towards African American. And since then, Gucci has issued an apology and I guess he's taking the sweaters off. But, uh, you know, we saying it's not enough. So, as you guys can see, Trouble Man 31, Gucci said, call to action. Number one, stop buying Gucci for the next three months. Two, if you own any Gucci, do not wear it, okay? Hold on, let me, let me click on it. And a three, share with your network, okay? This is the agenda. If you go against the movement, you won't go unnoticed. So they do plan on calling you guys out if you guys are wearing Gucci. If you with us, repost, okay? Us or else. All right? That sounds like a threat. So, you know, I got some more tea to tell you guys. So people are saying, T.I., you are the one that told us to ban the NFL, but you are at every party, right? So... I don't know. Do you guys think show Gucci what it feels like to not respect us enough to know our community and to know Man, our just culture? Stay out them motherfucking stole for three months. Stay One out of court. That's stay right. Three months. Stay your ass out of there. Yeah. Just stay, stay out, out of there. Don't buy it. Don't wear right. it. Don't That's make right. sure it ain't in your video. If a motherfucker, if you a DJ and you see that shit at a party, call his ass out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Same yep. thing for you, girl. That's the thing. It got to be from the top down. You know what I'm right. saying? And right. when they feel it, they going to rush to the table. That's right. Because saying, saying sorry is not enough. Like, there needs to be an investment in our communities and in the issues that we care about. You can't just be like, I'm sorry. Nah, we need to understand what is their commitment to now address. All right, so you guys heard it here. Uh, so hold on, I got some more stuff, but can we talk about it? You know, why do African American? why do we promote Gucci, Fendi, okay? All these high designers that's overseas, for one, they're not even in America, they're overseas, and they were never intended to be for African Americans. I mean, how they shape their clothes, the size of the clothes, you know, it didn't, they didn't start off wanting to, you know, hey, I want this demographic. However, African Americans start buying a lot of their products from the rappers, I know that. and that's a big influence, right? So everybody else in the community, African American community, start wearing this stuff too because of the rappers, right? Um, and gave them a lot of dollars. So they know, you know, they want the money, but they would never be here for African Americans. And I think if we just realize that X them out and just move on, I don't buy it. I think it's overpriced and I don't, I don't care. Uh, when I was younger, yeah, I was brainwashed by society feeling like wearing that stuff makes me feel like I'm somebody special. But, you know, it's nothing like knowing you special in your heart and, you know, you don't, you don't need designer clothes to feel special, you know? But you have to know that for your journey. So comment, let us know what you guys think about this. Hold on, because I do have some more. Okay, so this is um, Soldier Boy. Hold on, let's click on his video. I want to say this Drake OVO store. 
I put a whole bunch of shit on the counter like I was gonna buy it. And then they called Drake and he said, give him everything for free. Word. <laughs> Drake, crazy. and then he DM'd me and he was like, yo. He was like, yo, I hope they laced you up. I was like, thank you, bro. I was gonna buy it, nigga. You didn't have to give it to me for free. Word. Drake a real. Drake. We don't rock Gucci headbands no more. We rock Fendi headbands because Gucci ain't want to cut that check. So shout out to Fendi. You know? That's how I'm coming. Fendi Beats by Dre's. Fendi headband. Fendi shirt. You know? Fendi everything. Shout out to Fendi. Gucci, you canceled. Tell ya! All right, so there you have it, okay? Um, he said Gucci is canceled, and now he's rocking Fendi because Fendi gave him some money for it, and Gucci did not, so that's why it sounds like he's out of it because of a business deal for his personal gain. And k kudos for Drake, because remember, <laughs> Drake, <laughs> him and Drake was so into it, so Drake bought his ass some shit. Congratulations. But you know what baffles me? That these rappers, you know, hold on. These rappers, you know, they claim to be so, I'm the, I'm the big ass bitch, I'm the head bitch, I'm the motherfucking person in charge. But you're so, like, submissive to high-end clothes. It's almost like you're enslaved with Gucci. Why do you have to have Fendi? Why do you have to have Gucci? Majority of these high label designers are homosexual and ain't nothing wrong with that but a lot of these rappers are homophobic so make it make sense you homophobic but you love rocking a gay designer all because it's high end just because of the price tag it's overpriced ah. Each is on. I love a sale, okay? <laughs> I love a sale, bitch. But comment, let us know what you guys think about this. And I'm out of here. Make sure y'all subscribe to Gossip Girl XOXO. You know you love me.